Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today. And I'm coming at you, this is a real talk to the 10th power video. And I wanted to do this video, um, and it's totally being honest um, from my own personal observations, from my own experience um, with having the gastric sleeve, whether you have it in Mexico like I did because I was a self-paid patient, or whether you have it, excuse me, in the States. This is just an observation that I've made. Um, a lot of people, uh, when they see my videos and when they see how much I share, and when they see um, the things that I've shared, they sometimes open up and share um, their experiences, uh, personal information and things like that with me personally, whether that's in a PM or whether that's in a comment that they told me not to approve or whether that's in an email and also people that I've met um, in person. Right now, if you see me sipping on this, y'all know I have to have things really hot when I'm eating. And right now, it's not a good day for me. Um, a lot of times, you'll be able to tell by my eyes and things like that from the health issues I have right now. Um, what I didn't tell you guys is that it's really hard. It's getting like hard for me to be able to see. So like when I answer your comments and stuff like that, even though I used to breeze through and try to, because I answer so many, I'm one of those people that answer most of their comments. So sometimes I misspell words and all that, but the bigger picture is I'm taking time to answer as many comments as I can, even with having 15,000 subscribers. Um, please excuse me, you guys. I got to try to get it in whenever I can, the best way I can, um, because it's been two days since I've eaten. And when I get like this, um, my nausea level gets really high if I go a certain amount of time without eating and today makes it the third day so I'm definitely drinking this um, so please excuse me if I have to do this throughout the video but this is real life and if you want real life then that's what I'm giving you so please understand that okay so this is what I've noticed. Again, this is not coming from just a few people. This is not coming from people that necessarily read me log. This is not coming from people that may be on Facebook or whatever, even though I don't do any social media sites other than uh, YouTube. So really technically, I don't know if they do Facebook, but that's not how I found out about um, them and being able to have such a accurate assessment or uh, conclusion. So, um, this is just something I've noticed, you guys, and this is something that I want to draw to your attention just in case you fall into this category. All right? I notice that people that are like 400 pounds or more handle weight loss surgery differently. Now, sure, you're going to get some people that, you know, they don't have um, any complications. Sure, you're going to get people that bounce back immediately. Sure, you're going to get people that have a smooth sailing journey. But oftentimes, people that don't have that, people that, in fact, have the complete opposite of everything I just said, they don't be all. They don't share. And I'll tell you why in a second. I've noticed that people that are like 400 pounds or more, they do handle weight loss surgery differently. Whether that's gastric sleeve, whether that is um, flat band, whether that is, um, what is the other one? Bypass. Um, not necessarily total complications but their body does handle it differently. Now I don't know if it's because a lot of people that are like 400 plus pounds have usually more than likely been fat all of their lives so it's like um, quite a shock to the system. I don't know if it's because if you've overloaded yourself to the point that you can get 400 pounds or more um, that your body has become 
used to carrying that much weight? Um, has you been used to uh, being at a standstill as far as metabolism, uh, being at a standstill as far as physical activity uh, or lack thereof, um, being at a standstill as far as um, pushing and your body's somewhat normal? Uh, because at 400 plus pounds, you are not normal um, as far as functioning normally. That's what I'm saying. So please understand what I'm what I just meant. Um, uh, I think that many people should talk about that because I personally never seen anybody just word it like I just did. Actually word it like if you're over 400 pounds you may handle weight loss surgery differently than somebody that's 220 pounds or 250 pounds that had the surgery or 270 pounds or 300 pounds. Um, why don't a lot of people share that? Well first of all a lot of people don't want to say that they're 400 plus pounds. I remember when I was 475 pounds. Yes, baby. Yes, that's a baby. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to go do this video, then I'll, I'll do that. Okay. A lot of people, when they're 400 plus pounds, when I was 475 pounds, I didn't look. I, was, I looked huge. I looked big. But I didn't look 500 pounds. So a lot of people aren't going to tell you, oh, my body is maybe handling the surgery differently because I'm I was five hundred pounds. That's for one. Because everybody carries their weight differently. Even though again I was still big, I was plus size, I was what some of y'all consider huge. I still didn't look five hundred pounds, you know. So that's for one. For two, a lot of people don't want to hear I told you so. Because the silly part is, if you go to the extent of having weight loss surgery and knowing all that we know, the risk, um, the risk during the surgery, after the surgery, the costs, um, how your life changes, how you'll always have to take vitamins, um, the fact if you still go through with the surgery, you are at a place where you know that you are on your way out. You are at a place where you know that it's life or death for you. So for people to take that opportunity to say I told you so to people that are in desperate mode of actually saving their life, not silly reasons. You know, so many silly things that, you know, we do or we go through or so many silly things, way of thinking and stuff like that. No, this is some serious stuff. This is life or death for many of us. And people are so mean-spirited and so silly-minded that they would take the opportunity to say stuff like, I told you so, if somebody had an issue after having weight loss surgery. Again, even knowing that if something somebody went to that drastic of a change, then they must had some reasoning, some inkling, to tell them that they are in a life or death situation. Because this isn't a surgery that people usually would have just to look cute in some jeans. You know, you can do a lot of things just to look cute in some jeans. You can go on all kinds of diets and things like this. This is something that literally will affect your life for the rest of your life. That means if you live another 40 years, this is going to affect you for 40 years. That's not something that most people that have the surgery take lightly. So for people to be waiting anxiously, um, it says a lot about them. It says a lot about them. It says a lot about their mindset. It says a lot about their heart. And above all, it says a lot about their spirit. But people are people. And women sometimes can be silly-minded whether we like to hear it or not. I mean, the only people that wouldn't like to hear that is people that felt fall into that category. So, so it's a lot of people that won't talk about it because of that. Um,
it's a lot of people that don't discuss it because they actually want don't want people to know they had weight loss surgery. You know, I read a comment one time, just a couple of months ago, and somebody has said, I find it funny how when people have weight loss surgery, after they have weight loss surgery, then they want to work out. That was the silliest comment I could have read in a long, long time. Because, duh, I mean, it's like, you ever thought of maybe they really couldn't move that well? before they had weight loss surgery? You ever thought of maybe they couldn't physically exert with so much energy without having a heart attack or feeling like they're about to have a heart attack? Yeah, after they lose a little weight, they want to move and work out. And I, I say it's silly because not only because of that, but I say it's silly because why would that be a bad thing? Like, it doesn't matter why it doesn't matter why or when they, uh, I'm sorry, I was looking at UPS. It doesn't matter why or when they start working out. Isn't the point that they're doing it? Like, isn't that the bigger picture? People, Lord Jesus, help me. But anyway. So a lot of people don't want people to know that they had weight loss surgery. Some people actually will work out, eat a certain kind of way, and all of a sudden they'll say stuff like, all I did was change my eating habits and start moving and working out, and that's how I lost 300 pounds. Well, that's how I lost 200 pounds. To each his own, because we all have our reasoning for what we do and what we say, so I can't judge that, you know? Um... It ain't none of my concern. I'm just giving you why some people don't um, share if they are having some struggles after their gastric sleeve. And like I said, my observations have been that a lot of people that are 400 plus pounds, they don't have a smooth journey uh, with having their gastric sleeve. You got to also understand, you guys, that this surgery is fairly new. When I say new, I mean they're new to the medical field. Um, it's fairly new, so a lot of things is they're learning as they go along. Just like anything, any surgery that comes. I mean, I mean, it was at a point where open heart surgery was something they had to learn as they went along. Every surgery that has been successful, even failed at. Um, Every surgery was once new. And somebody somewhere weighed the options on their health and their life or death situation and wanted to take the chance because they knew it was a risk just walking around, breathing. So when people say, oh, it's a risk with the surgery and stuff, it's a risk walking around at 400 plus pounds. Walking to the bathroom from my room is a risk. Walking downstairs is a risk. Walking in the food market is a risk. Walking to go get that phone so you can order that pizza is a risk. Standing up so you can fix that food is a risk. Risk, risk, risk. You still 400 plus pounds. You still walking around a walking time bomb. Some people say, you know what, since it is a risk, either way, I'm going to take the best odds I can, and I'm going to try to make the best of it, and I'm going to handle and pray whatever comes my way. But again, I don't hear many people talking about those who are 400 plus pounds talking about their journey too much. I do hear them talk about their journey a little bit after they lost the weight but to see the before during and after in total I don't see a whole bunch of people doing that and I surely don't see a lot of people talking about the complications now sure sometimes they're on blogs because blogs are faceless 
but I don't see too many people. Live and living color. Talked about it, and for the like I said, some of the reasons that I just stated. Now, of course, there's other reasons, but those are just some of the reasons that I've stated. Um, you have to understand that I, when I went to Mexico, I stayed there longer than the average person. You know, they, they, uh, the company I went through for medical tourism, they let you stay for like two days, and um, a couple of people actually had the surgery that vlog. Um, because I referred them and because they saw my journey. They went to the same doctor I went to. They're doing great. And I'm doing great too as far as the gastric sleeve. My my complications that I'm having right now are not due to my gastric sleeve. Now it doesn't make my sleeve feel better. <laughs> but these are some other issues that um, I had or have now. But uh, it's just an observation of mine. And um because I was over um, in Mexico longer than the average person. I stayed over there for like two and a half weeks. Because I was over there for so long, I was able to, it was kind of like work for me as well because I was able to interview people. I was able to talk to people. I was able to, um, I mean, pe I was able to actually talk to people that literally told me straight out, when I go back to the States, I'm not going to tell nobody I, I had the surgery. And a lot of people do that. A lot of people. I mean, a lot of people. More people than you think. They'll say they go on a vacation. Come back. And all of a sudden, you see white weight dropping off of them. Mind you, they've been fat all their life. They have never been successful at keeping weight off long term but all of a sudden weight is melting off and staying off again who am I to judge again I'm just pointing out to you what happens what reality is and what people do so I was able to talk to many many people and I still talk to some of the people actually and I'm able to make this comparison because I talk to people that actually are, or was, I should say, over 400 pounds and had the surgery. Because I see them come and go. It's big business over there, you guys. This is not nothing new to certain groups. So uh, I was able to talk to people that was pushing 500 pounds just like I was and I'm able to talk to them and catch up with them now and then I compare it to the people that were like 250 that had the surgery over there that I talked to and their journey has just been different it's just been a little different and it makes you oh the little girl Teresa passed away the little Asian girl that had the heart tra um, transplant that didn't take. See, things like that make me think and make me be thankful that even on my bad moments, you guys, I always say this and I know this gets on some people's nerves, but some of the stuff that y'all watch should be getting on y'all nerves instead of me praising God. That's never going on your nerves. But um, that's why even in my bad moments, I'm thankful because I see stuff like that. And I think about that little girl is gone. She's never going to be talked to or seen again. Never. And if she could just go through some of the issues I have, I'm pretty sure she would. Rather than be gone. Just makes you think. It just makes you thankful. But I'm sorry I got sidetracked, y'all. Um, but yeah, I'm able to talk to people that were well under 250, and then people that were well over 400. I mean, well under 400, and then people that was well over 400. And um, 
it's just a different it's just a different process it's just a different journey and like I said not many people talk about it I mean people talk about it so I just want you guys to be aware and um, again this is because not because I'm guessing but this is because I have um, this is because I have accurate uh, information from people I've talked to that fit into this category. So I hope this video has helped you or even if it has helped you and enlightened you. Um, thumbs up you guys and support of this video also and um, encouraging me to share more things that not everybody wants to share or wants to talk about. I think that it's important. I think that it's imperative. And I think that's part of my journey and part of um, my testimony. And um, I'm just going to continue to walk on that path and be obedient. All right, you guys. I love you all so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. It's so much to offer here. Uh, we wear many hats, um, but we're a direct representation of what women are. We wear many hats in general, and um, this channel is uh, a representation of that. So I'll talk to you guys later. I thank you for joining us, and be blessed.